And it takes us to our next question. Who makes the best engineered hardwood flooring? Um, and then I see the next question down is how is engineered flooring or how is an engineered hardwood floor made? We're going to go ahead and stick a couple of those together. All right. Engineered floors are made of plies of wood. As a general rule, the more plies you have, the better the floor is going to be. Who makes the best engineered hardwood flooring? To me, it's a no-brainer. Um, I think Somerset makes the best engineered floor that there is. A lot of that is because Somerset doesn't make floors for box stores. Bo and I'm not, I'm not just kicking a box store under the, uh, under the bus here, throwing them under the bus, but they always want to be the cheapest. And the way you get to be the cheapest is you take away features. That's just the way it works. So when you take away features, you can't be the best and the cheapest. It doesn't work that way. Never has and it never will. Somerset is only sold through distributors um, and then on to retail. So that, that's where your, your higher end customers are and, that, and they want that better material. So they're not always the most expensive, but Somerset will always be the best. All of their cores are made with hardwood. And that, that sounds like a given, but it's really, it's not. A, some of your, your lower end engineered floors, they'll use soft wood on the core, especially the imported stuff. You, you drop something on it, it puts a big den in it. And it's because they, when they made that core, they wanted to save money, okay? Uh, engineered floors, I don't recommend buying a cheap made engineered floor because they dent. They, there's lots of problems you can have with them. Now, you can buy our Somerset cabin grader or a blue label floors. You can get them down $1.29, $1.39 range. Yeah, they're shorter boards, they have more contrast, they have more color, but they're still an eight ply hardwood core Another feature that's huge in engineering, when you uh, when they cut the veneer for a for a hardwood floor, they usually peel the log. Okay, it's called a rotary peel. They go all the way around that log, and what that does is it gets a high yield. So higher yield means it costs less. But when you look at a regular solid hardwood floor, it's not cut like that. It's called face sawn. Okay, they cut it one direction, cutting slabs across the face of that board. In Somerset's engineered, all of their veneers are face sawn. Yes, it costs a lot more, there's less yield, there's more waste, but their engineers look just like their solids. You, you, when you put down a five inch solid and a five inch engineered, you can't tell the difference. You'll hear people say, oh, I can tell the difference. No, you can't, okay? If they're between the Somerset engineered and solids, you can't because it's face sawn, look is the same. You can't see any deeper down in that floor than I can, and I assure you, I can't tell the difference. So how is an engineered floor made? It's made with a veneer on top and then anywhere from one to seven layers, alternating the direction between the layers that increases the stability. After the floor is made, they mill it, put the tone groove on it, run it down the line. Usually there'll be about 10 stations on a line. They sand it, they apply finish, they sand it. They put a little more finish, they UV cure it, they put aluminum oxide on it, they put a stain on it, all these different steps go through. And then when it comes out the other end, they grade it. Um, Somerset makes three different grades. They make uh, the blue label, they make the builder grade, and they make the first quality. We're fortunate enough to be able to offer all three of them. It just depends on, you know, is it, is it money you want to save? Do you want longer boards? Do you want a warranty? Each of the three products is, is meant to, to satisfy a different customer. All right, that was good. Thanks. All right.